What's up everyone, I'm Becca Johnson, another video. Now for this one, I'm reviewing the movie Seized. Now Scott Atkins' newest movie, Seized. Now Scott Atkins has been making a lot of movies lately. Um, well, quite a few movies lately. Like, this is one of them, and he's also made a movie called Legacy of Lies, which is, I'm pretty sure that also came out this year. And he's been, and he came out with a few movies last year. You know, so he's been coming out with a bunch of movies lately. And... Scott Atkins is killing it in his career. You know, at first, when he first started out, he wasn't a huge acting star. And he started slowly, started becoming bigger and bigger and bigger as the years went on. And people started noticing more. Now, Scott Atkins is, still deserves a lot more credit. Because some people just started, just now figured out, figuring out who Scott Atkins is by that movie It Men 4. Some people never even heard of Scott Atkins. And then they just watched It Man 4 and then that's how they found out who Scott Atkins were was and I'm like damn Scott Atkins deserves a lot more credit um because he has a lot of great martial art movies a lot of great action movies in general and Seized is one of one of my favorites of his now and the movie Seized has some awesome badass fight scenes some awesome explosions and this movie kind of sets it up to where if they wanted to they could make a sequel in a way because, <laughs> spoiler alert to some of y'all haven't seen it. Um, this guy right here. Supposed to be the main bad guy, right? Well, it turns out that he's not too bad. And he's also not too good either. So, you know, um... So, you know, the story is about, you know, um... The bad guys take... Take Scott Atkins' son. And then Scott Atkins, that's the... You know, um, do these missions that these bad guys want him to do. It's like he, it's like Scott Atkins has to do these bad guys' dirty work and then kill these people. So that's basically what the story is. It's a simple story with a lot of great action scenes and a lot of great fight scenes. And then it turns out at the end of the movie um, that the main bad guy don't kill kids. And then it's like his team turns up against him too. So so he kind of sees up with Scott Atkins sort of at the end of the movie. And then you know, of course. Um, of course, you never know that he might be the like a bad guy. He might come back in the sequel if they do make a sequel because by the end of the movie, he's the all son of a good guy. You still can't trust him. He might still be bad. So in the next in the sequel, he might be the main antagonist and he might do some messed up things in the second movie. Who knows? I I wouldn't mind seeing the sequel to this movie. Here's what the DVD looks like. Just in case some of y'all um are wondering, you know. If the disc art's any special. The disc art ain't that great, but... Oh, well. But, yeah, this movie... Very fun movie. It's a very fun movie. One of my favorites. Not It ain't my favorite Scott Atkins movie, but it's one of them. Scott Atkins has so much great action, martial art, blockbuster movies. Like, one of my favorite of his is Triple Threat. Which is, if some of you haven't watched that movie, y'all should definitely watch it because it has Tony Jaw, it has Michael Jaw White, and Scott Atkins in the same movie. So if you haven't checked out that, and then plus Tiger Chin, so, so many more. If you haven't checked out that movie, I highly recommend it. That's probably one of my, also one of my favorites of his. And Scott Atkins is just incredible martial artist, in my opinion. Um, and stuff. And... And to me, kind of saved action. Him, Donnie Yen, Jet Li, and Michael J. White. There's a lot of great martial artists that saved action when action movies were kind of dying out. Like, I'm talking about martial art, straight up martial art action movies were dying out. They came in to save the day and um, start making great martial arts action movies. And this movie has some incredible, brutal martial arts in this film. Um, and stuff. So, yeah, the movie seized. Fantastic film. If y'all find it at y'all's local Walmart, I highly recommend y'all buying this. Um, I enjoy this film basically from beginning to end. I barely have any negatives to say about this movie. Um, I probably would watch it again. I probably would watch it again. It's great. It's a fantastic film. Um, the story's pretty damn good. Um, the action's pretty damn good. So, yeah, there's a lot that goes on in this movie. I don't want to spoil too much, but there's a lot that goes on, on in this movie and um and stuff. So yeah, this movie, this movie's fucking crazy. It's it's crazy.
So yeah, um, I enjoyed this movie from beginning to end. If now, if I had to rate this movie, I'm rating it pretty high. Cause if I had to rate this movie, I would probably give it a um solid nine point five out of ten. I know that's high up. Nine point five out of ten for the movie Seized. Nine point five out of ten. Scott Atkins, it's fucking awesome. So yeah, um, the movie Seized. It's a great movie. I highly recommend y'all watching if you haven't watched this movie yet. It's a pretty damn good film. So yeah, I guess that's it for this video. If y'all enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, please subscribe and share. And also hit the bell so you know when a new video is uploaded. Peace out. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. I guess I'm out. Peace.